but thank you very much. You are saying, Molo. Hello. Molo, hello. And then you say, Amkeleka, we welcome you, welcome you. You are received, you are received. Thank you. Let me not hold you up too much. I, I, I just wanted to tell you a little story. There was a little boy who was fascinated because he saw a man standing at a street corner. And this man was selling balloons. And the balloons were inflated. And he held them with pieces of string. And what fascinated the little boy was that each time this man let go of a balloon, the balloon would float into the sky. Green balloon, white balloon, red balloon, black balloon. And the little boy said, excuse me, sir. How come when you let go of the balloon, green balloon, white balloon, red balloon, <laughs> black balloon, it, it floats into the sky? And the man said, ah, my boy, it's not the color of the balloon that matters. It is the stuff inside. It is the stuff inside. And looking at you around here, it's just a fantastic reflection of that story. Green balloons, red balloons, white balloons, black balloons, <laughs> and you all float into the sky. But you know, in so many parts of the world, in this country, but especially in South Africa, there was a time when they said, the most important thing about you is the color of your skin. That determines which school you attend, where you live. In this country, you called it Jim Crow. When people couldn't drink from the same fountains, they couldn't go to the same restaurants. They couldn't attend the same schools until you had people like Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, who said, no, no, I'm tired. I, I ain't going to give up my seat. Uh, I'm tired. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? What does skin color tell us about a person that is really important? Does it tell you if you look at somebody and you say, ah, 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 ah I, can, I, can, I can see you are clever. You can't. You can't tell from the color of a person's skin. You can't tell whether this is a very funny person. You can't tell whether it is someone who is caring, who is compassionate. I, I used to say, can you imagine, can you imagine if they said, as they used to say in South Africa, you see in South Africa they used to say, this university is only for white people. And if you went to a restroom and you, you're walking, you're, real, you're in real trouble, and you looked for a restroom, and it was for whites only, 
tough luck if you are black. Your brother, your brother would have to burst. So I said, can you imagine? Supposing we said not skin color. We said the size of nose. You see, I have a large nose. If, if we said this university is for large noses only. <laughs> to qualify to attend, you must have a large nose. If you have a small nose, tough luck. You have to go and apply to the Minister of Small Nose Affairs <laughs> and ask for permission to attend the university for large noses only. You can see how utterly ridiculous it is. Totally ridiculous. And you, wonderful young people, can see, you know, if you walked into a garden and the garden was all red roses, red roses are beautiful. But if you had nothing but red roses, it would be the dullest possible garden. Ah, when you have roses, you have daffodils, you have delphiniums, you have, ah, that glorious diversity. And it is represented here in your school. Because, you see, God said, I am going to make you different so that you should know your need of one another. No one can be totally self-sufficient. We are made for complementarity. I have gifts that you don't have, and you have gifts that I don't have. And God says, ah, <laughs> voila, voila. Now they will know. This one will say, I don't have this. You have it. We need each other. We are made, we are made for togetherness. We are made, we are made really for family. We, we are different. And all of us are beautiful. All of us are beautiful. Beautiful in different kinds of ways. And so I want to say to you, you have made an incredible start in this school. You have been given an incredible start in celebrating diversity, in being like this orchestra here. They have different instruments, and they are an orchestra precisely because they are different instruments and then they play together. The world needs so very much to know that we are different, not in order to be separate, we are different in order to be those who complement one another. That's, a, that's the only way we are going to win the war against terror. You won't win you won't ever win the war against terror as long as there are people somewhere who are desperate because of hunger, of poverty. And God says, I need you. Help me to make this world a different place. And you are great. God believes in you. God believes that you, 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 and 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 you, can make, will make a difference. Okay? Okay? Okay! Say, I will make a difference.
How about standing up and let's hear you? Come on! We stand. What? I, I'm, I'm the conductor. You say, after I say three, then you say, I will make a difference. One, two, three. Thank you.